Good morning guys and happy Wednesday and happy 1st of June or Johnmas um, as we tend to call it over here on Beach Life. Uh, yeah, I am at work as you can see. I am no way guaranteeing I'm vlogging every day in June. I'm going to vlog a lot but not necessarily every day. I might do, I might not. Sometimes I feel weekday, workday vlogs are a little bit boring. Um, but I've got stuff to get done today, so I have to work, obviously. But yeah, I'm at work. Tomorrow is John's birthday. I've got a lot of stuff to get done when I finish work tonight. Um, but yeah, right, I'm going to have a coffee. I hope you're all having a good day, and I'll talk to you in a bit. And I'm home! And I'm going to get outside having a wee. Whew. Stressful day. I had this chap bring me, not once, not twice, but three times, three times to shout at me today. <sighs> Basically, um, one of the services that the company provides is um, installing renewable measures, and back in 2014, we supplied this chap with a quote. Back in 2014, there was government funding to assist with that which he was entitled to. Um, our records show that we sold, sent follow-up letters, blah, 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 blah. This morning, I go into office and there's an email saying that he'd like to go ahead. Now, the email that he's replying to is dated 2014. Unfortunately for him, the government scrapped the funding in May 2015. Uh, so, I rang him, because I thought that was more uh, a better way of communicating. So I rang him to say, unfortunately, you know, the funding is no longer available. Um, you know, we still install that material, but that measure, but of course your quote is, you know, from 2014, so you would require a requote if you would wish to go ahead, but there is no funding in place. Um, and I gave him some phone numbers of people that may be able to help him but the actual initial funding that we were going to access for him in 2014 no longer exists. Which he accepted, you know, thank you for letting me know, put the phone down, that was it. About 10 minutes later, rang me back and shouted, shouted and swore at me. He's a pensioner, why didn't I tell him this back in 2014? I'm like, well, we didn't know the funding was gonna end in 2015, you know. It ended almost a year after, well, it was like nine months after our communication that the funding ended it's like and it's like we sent follow-up letters blah, 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 you know we don't harass our customers and yeah basically he rang me like three times to shout and swear at me so that was nice and uh yeah ugh just don't oh, come on darling no he's gonna stand there sniff the air i don't understand why people do that it's just not necessary or appropriate but yeah, so that was work life, and then after work I needed to go to the shop because I needed to get eggs and scratch cards because it's John's birthday tomorrow, and um, I need scratch cards to go in his birthday card, and I need eggs to make him a birthday cake, which I have to make this evening, and let it cool down in time so I can hide it, so tomorrow it will be a surprise. Um, and yeah, I got into the, to the local co-op, and there was a man on the floor, and he was having an epileptic fit, and um, he was he had his wife with him, luckily, and I felt really bad. I was like, I asked if there was anything I could do to help, and she's like, no, thank you very much. The staff have called an ambulance. She goes, but to be fair, we don't need an ambulance. You know, it happens, she says, you know, it happens pretty much weekly. You know, he just needs to come around and they'll be okay. But it was just the rude people in the shop like stepping over him i'm like this shop's got like three or four aisles walk around you don't step over a man lying on the floor just so many rude people today it's just not necessary <sighs> right got my rant out of the way i've got tomorrow off work that's good but now i have to make a birthday cake <sighs> wish me luck okay birthday cake is in the oven hello <laughs> cute um yeah, I'm just doing a simple vanilla sponge, and then I've got, um... <laughs> what are you doing, crazy? Crazy? 
Um, yeah, I'm just doing a simple vanilla sponge and then I've got chocolate fudge icing to go on it. I might have already told you this, I'm not sure. My brain's gone a bit... <sighs> but yeah, luckily John has got rugby training tonight so it's got plenty time to cool but yeah. I just wanted to get it done as soon as I got in, so it definitely, definitely had time to cool. Right, I have got at least one. <laughs> I'd like to record two videos this evening, um, but I have to do one. But I also have to wrap the presents and housework, and I can't wrap the presents until I've recorded one of the videos. <sighs> I've got a lot to do, I've got a lot to do. Finally, all the presents are wrapped. Well, I ran out of wrapping paper for a sweeties, but <sighs> I'm the world's worst present wrapper. I hate it. John wraps all the presents. So it means he gets the ugliest wrapped presents because I'm so bad at it, but I'm hoping he'll like them. I hope. It's gone in a, a blue look. It's gone eight o'clock. John's just texted me to say he's on his way after training. So I'm gonna start tea. And it's tea time, and we have got chicken and chorizo with spinach, tomato, baby corn, uh, onion, garlic. I'm forgetting something. There's reduced fat mozzarella in there. It's yummy. It's from, well, it's a slight twick from a Joe Wicks recipe, but yeah, that one's John's and that one's mine. Okay, so me and John are just having a chat, catching up about our days. He's telling, um, telling me about rugby and a meeting that they had after the rugby. And Darwin decided to throw up all over the front room. To his defence, he did throw up right in front of the patio doors. And me and John were like both going, ah. Like, you know, you can see it in slow motion going to the front, back to the patio doors trying to open them. But yeah, a lot of vomit. He's fine. Are you fine? Are you fine? If you can hear Gilly whinging, it's because John's gone out, because obviously there was cloths and stuff used to clean it, and John's gone to put it straight out in the bin. Gilly's whinging because he wants to go out. So yeah, fun evening.